What's up and welcome back to Gabe at Miller Music. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the making of a future garage slash chill step type beat that I made on the Roland MC-101. I'm gonna walk you through the drums, the synths, the composition, effects, all that kind of stuff. So without any further introduction, let's start off with the drums. Uh, these are a lot of custom samples mixed in with some stock samples, as per usual uh, with the beats I make on this thing. That's basically the pattern that's going on here with a few other elements. I should mention that uh, these one shots have been modified a bit. Uh, for one thing, I've shortened the decay on some of these sounds and then pan them around quite a bit. So they bounce around in your ears, add a bit of extra ear candy. Same deal with these hi-hats. This one in your left ear a bit. This little shaker thing in your right ear just a little bit. And I've got the swing turned up a bit. If I go into my clip settings, uh, shuffle is at 10, and that's consistent for all of the tracks in here, I believe. And I've got a multi-effect on the entire track, so let me turn that off. Like, it sounds decent, but it's a little too clean. So I've got this uh, effect fattener on here, which adds some saturation, some extra low end, and uh, probably some compression. So let me turn that on, check this out. Obviously, it's a bit louder, so that's going to fool your ear a little bit, but it really did bring it to life. It really fattened up that kick, added a bit of grit to this drum part, and made it sound a little less disconnected from all its individual components. Up next, this bass is a built-in preset. I've modified it quite a bit. I've filtered it down a lot. It's got this really nice little warble to it because it's like a Reese type bass. And once again, I've modified it a bit. I've got a chorus on here. Adding some width and a bit more kind of pitchiness. And it's got a nice glide on it as well. And that's something I dialed in so it wouldn't be too abrupt, but also wouldn't take too long to where everything would feel like out of tune. And those pitch bends are chosen to really accentuate the groove of the drums. So I came up with these parts first and then started trying to figure out uh, something to make it a little more catchy. So we've got these chords. I probably should have added a bit more release, but uh, hopefully get the idea. It's another preset. If I recall correctly, I didn't actually bother with one finger chords on this one. I just played stuff in manually based on what sounded nice. I should also quickly mention that if I was to export these individual tracks, which I probably will at some point, I would definitely sidechain the bass to the kick. This is another uh, built-in preset that I've used quite a bit on this thing. It's got enough shimmer to it this big old delay and reverb on it. And then as you lift the filter, there's this really nice bit of unison. And it sounds pretty good no matter where you put the filter cut off. So I've definitely used that to my advantage in the intro uh, version that I jammed out. I should also mention I have this sound set to be on a clip by clip basis. So I've actually got another version of it. That way, uh, when I bring the stuff into post, I can layer the two sounds or switch between them, depending on what I feel like doing. Uh, they're at different kind of pitch ranges, and so they should lay on top of each other fairly well and not compete in the frequency spectrum too much. And this melody is the last thing that I wrote. I was actually not really sure where to take this beat until I came up with that, uh, and that was based on what I did with the bass line, which inspired the chord progression, which inspired the melody. Oh, and then I also have this element. 
It's a little Jupiter lead doing this little ARP thing, which I think is quite nice. And this is the uh, patch for that other lead layer, by the way. So yeah, I would combine all that stuff, maybe uh, do some resampling to get that to happen. Uh, either way, that's everything that went into making this beat. Fairly simple, really. It sounds like there's a lot going on. I think thanks in part to the percussion. But overall, it's just a little uh, laid back groove that I made in an afternoon and wanted to show you guys. If you would like to see more Roland MC101 beat making, you can click or tap up over here somewhere, and I will be back with a new video in a little bit. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching.